something that I screenshotted. It was someone that someone uh, said on Tumblr. Do you remember Tumblr? Did people still use I Tumblr? I loved it. Po- probably. People still use Tumblr. Yeah. Um, it was, I hate seeing posters, especially around schools, that say failure is not an option. Fuck that. Failure is always an option. It's okay to fail. You win. You win. You will fail in life at some point. You need to prepare yourself for failure or else once you do fail, it will destroy you and you won't know how to pick yourself back up. Mm. Failure is a part of life. Failure is always an option. Failure is always an option. I think that's it. And I think if you compl- if you're super hard on yourself, like, right, I cannot fail. This Because obviously we all do it. Like, it, I, I don't want to sit here and like lie to you and be like, oh, I've never done that before. I have done that before. <laughs> like, I've yeah. sat there and I've gone, I cannot fail this. Like, there's no other option. Like, it's either this or nothing. But then when I have failed, I've like, it's taken me a lot longer to pick myself back up because I've kind of gone from this super high expectation mm. to them crumbling down. As well, and I think as long as you are trying your best and as long as you are like having this like positive mental attitude into it. Positive think, mental attitude. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think that's it, and I think that's the the key to life. <laughs> yeah, yeah you just try and take everything as it comes, and take everything with like a pinch of salt. And... See, I struggle to do that. I catastrophize. I think that's part of ADHD. You you're more likely to catastrophize. Obviously, don't take my word as gospel. You are more likely to catastrophize, and like when something bad happens. So, quick story time, and okay, I'm not perfect. very good at quick stories, but bear no, you're with not, me. But okay, I am. <laughs> A couple months ago, I had the opportunity. So I got like a little request form through for work and somebody who owns a company, well, she works for a company that is all about celebrating small businesses. I'm not going to go into it too much. So I don't want anyone to know who this is because I don't want to slander anyone. But they wanted me to do five window displays in pretty quick turnaround in like the next week. So I was like, that's crazy. And it was all around the UK. If you remember, it was like, there was like one down south, one there, one there, one here. Yeah. So I'd have to travel everywhere. And it was like quite stressful. But I was like, I really want to do window displays. So I was like, oh, I'm going to do it. Anyway, turns out they told me the budget at the beginning. I sent them the, the estimate. So I was like, right, based you booked on this. I time off work as well. I booked time off work at the pub. I, I, I put everything on hold. I was like, I need to do this. This is going to be amazing. I was so excited. I was telling everyone about it. And then, yeah, so they took they told me the budget. I said, amazing. Here's the estimates. And they were like, okay, all looks good. So I was like, right, the estimates are good. And it, I made sure that I priced everything so it was in, in between their budget. Yeah. It was still quite low, but it was fine. Anyway, they were like, oh, amazing. But just before we sign anything off, have you got any, like, quick concepts? So I was like, oh, I took one of the shops and I did, like, a f- three concepts. Took me quite a few hours. Sent it through to them. And then they rang me and they were like, we don't actually have that budget. We can only charge it. We can only like give you £250 per window. And I was like, that's not a lot for how big the windows were. Yeah, there were massive windows There were some that were huge. And I said, there's no way I can do that. And she's like, what can you do about the designs? And I was like, if I do... I was like, it's just going to get lost in the window. So I was like, no. And they were like, oh, it, the, it's piling up. or All the costs are piling up now for, for the different shops. And I was thinking... Did you go, when you got your display stuff from Ikea, did you go into Ikea and say, all oh, the costs are racking up, can I make it cheaper? No. So why with me? Anyway, obviously that wasn't... And you not... was on the cheap end as well because you were you newly pricing it. Yeah. And I'd, I'd talked to a girl who's done the window displays before, so I knew that I was pricing right. Anyway, so I was like, I'm devastated. And then she went, oh, we're going to go in a different direction. And I was like, oh my God, you just made me do the sketches knowing you didn't have the budget. And I was devastated. And I know that it wasn't my fault. I know now that I need to make sure I get a 50% deposit before, before I do any, any sketches. Yeah. I was just too excited about it. Yeah. And then I was thinking, oh my God, I'm failing. And that's when I went into like a really deep, like it, I take it personal. And I was crying all day. I was like, yeah. what am I going to do? And then that's the day that I rang the doctors and I was like, I need to go and I need to press. Yeah, but like you've learned from that now. And like obviously now you know yeah. not to do any work until you've got 50% deposit and... And now I think yeah. that's put that business in a different light to me as well because 
they were all about championing small businesses though and that's why i I I want to tell everyone who it is but i'm not that kind of person well that's it like people do have budgets for things and that is that is something that we deal with but if you do have a budget and like they said they told you the budget and you worked under you worked i remember you telling me that you were way underneath that budget you was underneath that budget anyway weren't you yeah yeah so it's like i don't know it just i know but yeah, you really took that personally. And I took was... it personally and I was thinking, I failed. I'm, your, a, yeah. I'm a failing illustrator. Why can other people? And then obviously they'd gone for somebody else and I was like, like really comparing it to me and I was thinking, have I done something wrong? Um, and then I was thinking, I failed as an illustrator in general because I've put myself out there. And I, was, I, I told her, I said, I've not, because of circumstances beyond my control, I'm not going to be able to pay my rent now because I have not worked at the pub for two weeks because... I've scheduled off work for that week to go everywhere and do all these windows. And I scheduled off the week before so that I could, like, you could prep prepare. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and I was devastated, but... Well, you have sent them an invoice for your time for the initial sketches. And, they and they've, this, she's, I chased it a, a month, like, a couple of weeks after. And she's like, oh, I've sent it to the accounts team. And I was thinking, but you're a small business. I don't think you've got an accounts team. And then I chased them a month after and I said, just so you know, on Saturday, it's going to be 30 days. So there is going to be a markup and I'm going to be sending another another invoice with, you know, with charges. Never got back to me. And I've not sent an invoice yet, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer so that I can give them a... Because like, you've done specific... work for them. Yeah. Just because they didn't, they, they decided to... I did a couple of days work. Like, they sent me all the inf- information. Because there was, cause I remember I... you telling me there was implying to you that it needed to happen quick. Yeah. There was like, it's going to take a while for... Which I know, I know that you blame yourself for, and I will blame myself for. But there was like, it's going to take a while for it to all get like processed and stuff, but we need this done quick. So if, can we get the work kind of done? yeah and, and like, that's yeah, why i was like i've well, got to do the sketches well, it's because now they, like you said that like, they champion small businesses so you was like they're not gonna mess me mess me about i know and then they put oh. on their instagram the next day like after they'd fobbed me off saying all oh, we from the illustrators that design our windows da, 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 we champion small business and i thought you threw me under the bus and i was so upset i was thinking why can i not stand up for myself because i am a bit of a doormat sometimes i think i'm a bit too nice like i had a call uh, the other day and I was talking uh, to the girl about royalties. And I was like, oh, you know, the average is 8%. But if you want to do, you know, it's up to you. If you want to do 2%, you can. And I thought, why the fuck have I just said that? <laughs> and luckily she was lovely. She went, I don't want to do 2%. Eight's fine. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just being too nice. I'm a people pleaser. It's really bad. That's what I need to work on. But like, that, it's areas like that where I feel like I'm failing. Not like yeah. I'm necessarily failing at the work. Because I didn't fail at the work because I didn't do it. But I feel like I'm failing to do the right things. Yeah. But that's okay, because now I know not to do that. No, you're not to do that. And like, like I said before, it's like it's all dependent on how you, how you deal with it and how you move on from failing. <laughs> <laughs>